Okay, this is my script uh, in Grasshopper. Um, you can see this is the part to create geometry. And then this part is for exporting to Tecla structures. So this is some, some blocks from Tecla plugin. So Tecla 2020 in my, um, in my case. And then let's just jump and, how, and we will see how it works in Tecla structure actually. So, okay, what we can modify it here. Then this is our pipe rack. Uh, so really basic one and actually this is not really final i still want to add some vertical bracing for the pipe bridge and also vertical bracing between columns but this is the first version and then i think we can we can check it out so of course we can make pipe rack higher but this is the really basic one uh, what is more interesting is that we can make it the narrow we can make it wise wide and uh, yes you can see bracing's location just goes to the center and uh, it's all located uh, as, as they need so it's not only center to center but this is like below beam flange and uh, also this beam below this longitudinal beam okay let's just check how we can modify it easily of course we can change length right and then uh, we can control the length of cantilever, left or right. So this is short, this is long. Uh, the same for another one. And then of course we can control, uh, we can control the dimension of the segment, right? From two meter to four meter, this is good for me. And then you can see all bracings, they just immediately can immediately be modified. And of course, we can control the height of the pipe bridge itself. So it can be a small one, it can be pretty high. Okay, let's now export this pipe rack to the global software for the calculation. Uh, let's a little bit modify the pipe rack. So, <clears throat> pipe rack is ready. Then we go to the blue ball, right? They have a direct interface between Tecla. That's why I just click this button. And physical and other items to change. So now we can see all sections was were exported correctly. Material. And Yes, material is also fine. And the studs, the stands, and then, okay, we need to make a load case. We just make a dead load for self weight and just make a calculation just to see that the system is stable. <coughs> of course, when it supports. So, this is clear that in real life, um, you need to change member type to the tension, but in our case, we don't need to worry, we just need to know that the system is stable. And so that's why, okay, hinged connection for the columns and all kind of plane connections. So just for the testing, show result. Okay, you can understand our material probably. Let's just change it. Please, you join one. And now, here, yeah. try. Yeah, you can see. System is stable, result is correct. It's how it should be. Then, now we can see how interface from the grasshopper to the Tecla and then to the Blue Bar Center will work.